<sighs> Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com and this is a new thing that I'm doing. It's me eating breakfast. Because I do the boring sleep sessions. Oh, that's a weird noise. So I thought maybe I'd do a boring awake time, a boring, relaxing time, a boring breakfast time. So yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but, and the benefit is I get to eat, which is handy. I do find that, do you know that feeling that you have when you're hungry? Well, I found out, I find that if you, when I've eaten, that feeling goes away. It's really groovy stuff. So it could be, this could be like a bit of an ASMR um, but you know I actually had a dream last night or it might be the night before or it might have been during the day where I was the only person eating not in the entire world. Um, but in this scenario. And I became very self conscious about how I was like the sound. See now Andre, I woke him up, well I got up out of bed and I gave him a, I didn't shake him, not like in a weird way, but he, yeah, you know, sort of saying hello son, morning, and he just pushed me away, wasn't interested. But now, as soon as I bring my breakfast out, oh, oh come here, oh dear, sorry. Oh, I hurt him, I didn't mean to. Say hello to everyone. Hello. He basically, He wants to have something to eat, so he's having some cornflakes. He makes more noise than I do when he's eating. So this could be Andre and Jason scoffing down their breakfast. You know what I think about?
things like sounds. And how uptight people can get, including myself, in those little things. It's sometimes it's a lot of the little things that seem to be annoying. And I used to kind of subscribe, but by subscribe, I mean, I didn't actually pay money for a monthly magazine, but I used to subscribe to the idea that it's lots of little things that built up. and then got a bit too much, but although that might be the case, we want some more now. There you go. I try and get the milk out because he's not really supposed to have milk. I don't normally feed him on the table. I say feed him, I mean, he can feed himself. But I figured as I'm making this uh, live stream thing, I might as well just stick him on here and let him do what he wants. So although this is this breakfast time is aimed at relaxing. It's a little relaxing time that we can share. A bit of a nice, calm, loose time. Um, so I suppose I should say only listen or watch when you can safely close your eyes. Don't use heavy machinery. Um, and if you're drilling on the moon, then put the big drill down, take your helmet off and, well you don't have to take your helmet off I suppose, but just as long as you can relax, because this is a relaxing thing. But I suppose, in a way, sometimes relaxing can lead to sleep because if you're, you know, some people maybe haven't had a sleep or any decent sleep for a while and then they relax and they're listening to me just shooting the breeze, as it were. I don't like the idea of shooting the breeze, but I think uh, basking in the breeze or enjoying the breeze or eating my breakfast. Rachel first says that she actually is drilling on the moon. So please Rachel, put your drill down or put the moon down. It's not bad though, is it? It's technology. Firstly, that you're on the moon drilling and secondly, that you can hear me all the way from Colchester in England. You can hear me on the moon. It's not bad. Sebastian Kinikos, Kinikos. I don't know how to say his name. He says, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know how, you know when someone, Andre's left a right mess here. I don't know if you can see all that. and get rid of it.
put it down so you can eat it down there. Oh, my hands are all sticky now. Don't like sticky hands, which is, it's all right. You know, this doesn't affect my life, but I've definitely had a difficult adolescent. It's, this is the best of you. Excuse me. I can't believe I just did a burp. Um, that's possibly the downside of eating whilst making a um, and also it's live so I can't edit it out you could say de technically it's just gas which it is, it's just gas and I think and you think that sometimes we make like a bit more of a di make a big thing about little things you know sort of seems to be that such a such a tightness of wanting to fit inside and fit in a certain shape that sometimes it's just you need to just get out of that shape and just be something else because I don't know what shape I am I'm a uh, pear shaped possibly I've got yeah I've put definitely a lot heavier than I used to be I've got an ample bosom and my belly could definitely do with uh, a few inches being reduced <laughs> and it's not really due to eating which is probably part of it I mean I do eat maybe it's sort of lack of exercise, I don't get as much exercise as I used to have. Yeah, I used to be quite a, not athletic person, that would be the wrong word. A physically active person is probably more, more accurate. You know, I used to do stuff. I used to, I was never really into, I uh, never really into like sports as a hobby. You know, people like to go mountain climbing and water sports, you know, those things. I've never been into water sports. I'm not um, not really a, a sea weary, sea wearing. Is it? Is that the right word? Not really into boats or swimming or kayaking or um, canoeing or sailing or ski water skiing or paddling, I, I don't mind that. You know when you go into the sea up to maybe, probably just over your ankles, the water is just over your ankles, maybe a little bit higher, maybe possibly even up to your, th I don't know, calf muscles or over the calf muscles but not generally above the knees. Um, Sebastian's just talking about how he, he likes 
be squatting into water spots. I mean, everybody likes the different things. I used to like boxing. I never boxed like um, in tournaments or anything like that. Although I did uh, attend karate tournaments and when I was a kid. Uh, I, I uh, participated in karate contests. And, but I've never, yeah. She each to their own, really, isn't it? I I started going to the gym when I was about thirteen. Or fourteen. Because I got I got free membership in my local gym. It was just around the corner from where I lived. Because I was walking past there with my friend and there was this man struggling to unload a van full of like carpet and stuff like that. So uh, I think we just asked him what he was doing because he was, he, he was walking into the entrance of this, I don't know what it used to be, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think back. It was like this little corner shop. But there was nothing in there, but it must have been something. It was next to a laundrette. But, so, I don't know, either we were asking him what he was up to, or he was just like talking to us, I can't remember. It's a long time ago, 44 years. No, not 44 years, 34 years. God, I just added another 10 years to my life then. No, I'm not 58, I'm 48. I'm only a youngster. My cornflakes never get that soggy normally. They'd be eaten, you know, way before now. I will come back to this uh, exciting story in a minute. The exciting carpet story. So, the point of this live stream, me in my dressing gown, and it's going to be me in my dressing gown every time, that way I don't have to worry about getting dressed. Although I do have clothes underneath here because I was a bit worried in case I had a little nipple slip, you know what I mean, I didn't want to... Um, didn't want, to, um, didn't want to cause the internet to have a meltdown, so yeah, I'm trying to sort of keep myself covered. But the idea, hi Fiona, hi Travis, hi Sebastian, um, Knickerbocker Glory, uh, this is my morning breakfast live stream on Facebook which is aimed at relaxing. So it's not aimed at sleep. Although I was wondering what that was, Andre's wandering around. Of course if you need to sleep then you can sleep. But this is very much just a relaxing. Breakfast broadcast. See, I don't know what to call it. I gave the title Jason's Boring 
breakfast, relaxation. It's such a, my, it's supposed to be boring, but I don't want it to be a boring title. I see the sun shining on my face. So if anyone's got a better idea what to call these, I mean, the idea is every morning or every day when I get up, sometimes it will be in the afternoon, I'll get up, hi Lisa Marie Hibbs. It's really weird when there's someone that you actually know in real life sees you, watches you on Facebook. <laughs> I am, um, most of the people that follow me and watch me are people from other countries that I've never met. And uh, in Sebastian's case, hopefully never will. Mind you, Sebastian does have my address. Sebastian says, I don't need to call every single thing I do a title. I do because I upload this to, to YouTube. Hi Fiona, Dawn, Percy, McLean. You like names, don't you? <laughs> Got enough names there? <laughs> Sebastian, I will one day, I will. Is it afternoon already? Hi Lisa. Rachel. Oh, everyone's full of energy. You know what, I do these at night, or, you know, sometimes early hours in the morning. Um, I might get the odd message, but this is, I'm getting lots of messages. So Rachel, so you're going to America next year. So Lisa said, hi, hi Lisa. Rachel says, so I'm going to America. Yeah, I've, got, I've been invited to America to uh, attend a, uni a college to maybe do some lectures there to some college students about hypnosis and about my kind of technique of what I do and got to try and figure out what my technique is apart from just being boring which comes very naturally to me uh, Fiona says Paha couldn't lose my maiden name, Percy, so I kept it as a middle name. To be fair, if my name was Percy, I would keep it too. Percy is it's a brilliant name. It is a very good name. Rachel wants to come with me. Uh, no. Next question. <laughs> no, I'd... Um, it will be... It's not... It's kind of a working visit, although I'm not going to be getting paid. Um, my expenses will be covered, uh, but it's so I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be getting like paid a wage or anything. But it could lead to something in the future. Uh, I'm going to be going to. Um, I've got contact with this lovely lady that lives in Massachusetts and she's a dean of a college and she deals with uh, a specific thing. I won't go into those details but she's interested in seeing whether or not what I do would be of use. Rachel, I'm only kidding. If I can't take, I don't have to go on my own. Um, Lisa, bring me back a fridge. I actually thought when I read that, I thought you said bring me back a fridge. I was going to say that's, that's a lot of, that's a commitment, you know. But a fridge magnet, you know what? Bearing in mind these are, sessions are supposed to be boring, okay. So just remember that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm quite as boring as, as this in real life. But I possibly am. I'm kidding myself that I'm. 
putting on the boringness, you know, spreading it on, but I think I actually am really this boring. Um, thanks, Sebastian. I think if I could take anyone, I think in some ways I'd like to take Sebastian because I like the idea of being banned from America because if I took him we would get we would be in the news I reckon <laughs> we'd get kicked out of the country I don't want that to happen but I can see the sort of funny side of it hi Carrie tea cakes yeah see Lisa Lisa Marie Hibbs is a real life friend as in like someone that I've met in person I've been in the same room as them not on the same planet or in the same country and uh, she knows some of my little secrets just the word tea cakes that other people don't know I don't tell or you tell anyone around about that. See, I, you know, when you're like a public figure like myself, <laughs> when you're, you have to keep something back, you know. I've, t I've gone online, I've talked about my childhood, I've talked about love life, lack of love life, whatever. I've talked about medication that I've taken, any kind of illnesses and stuff. I always keep something back. Tea cakes is one of those things that I keep back. One of those personal things that I keep hold of and don't share. Um, so I don't know if anyone's got any ideas for what I should call this. Because um, I was thinking, I do a daily breakfast although I know it's afternoon, I carry a high afternoon. High afternoon? Good afternoon. High afternoon doesn't really work, does it? Why do I have to say good? Good morning, good afternoon. It's not that I'm wishing someone else, you know, someone something other than a good afternoon, but why not a high afternoon? Hi, afternoon. Then it sounds like you're, talk, you're calling them afternoon. Hello, afternoon. But then in Australia, they say good day. But then that comes from England anyway, doesn't it? Because remember they used to, if you go back to like Charles Dickens times, good day to you, sir. Sebastian, I'm gonna have to reread your stuff at the end of the session because I can't keep up with it. Oh, JJ's breakfast bowl. Ah, I could do, you know. Carrie says, uh, yeah, I'm, you're high. Okay, that's good, good for you. Um, I'm high on cornflakes. And I'll be high on tea cakes later. didn't expect anybody to actually watch this otherwise I'd have put a bit more makeup on and so Sebastian says JJ's breakfast bowl I know it might seem strange uh, Sebastian but Lisa Marie, where is my Lisa? Where's my Christmas tree? You know, it's it's outside. I don't have a Christmas tree. I haven't had a Christmas tree since. I don't think I've ever had one. Ever in my life, other than you know when I was a child, there was always a Christmas tree at Christmas. Uh, you know, with the family, but since I was. 15 
uh, yeah, I lived on my own since the age of 16 and I've never had yeah I've never had uh, one year I got some Christmas decorations I didn't have a Christmas tree but I, I don't think but I had Christmas decorations and like tinsel and hung them up from one end of the room to the other that kind of stuff it's not I'm not a bar humbug I'm not like anti-Christmas or anything no it's just um, I've lived in tiny little rooms for most of my adult life and for the last how many years have I been here now I moved in here It would be April four years ago, this coming April. So if anywhere I was gonna decorate, it would be here, but I just haven't got around to it. And then I got Andre. You know, bearing in mind I moved in here April, I got Andre by uh, September. And he destroyed the place. Absolutely destroyed every single thing in this flat. Uh, he ripped the settee to bits ripped the carpet to bits and I, I think partly why I didn't get a tree which I probably had in my mind to do um, earlier in the year is because he'd have climbed up it and eaten it and destroyed it and so I think that's probably why I didn't do it so there and you know why why say humbug when humbug is actually one of the tastiest sweets such a compliment. Well, you know, glitter tea cakes. I went into, let me tell you my tea cake story. Because the, the whole point of it, I just wanted to try and, and Sebastian, you know, as far as what I was saying, what could, you, what could we call this thing if I come here every day, eating my breakfast, talking rubbish. So, the idea behind this is, Lisa, don't tell Rachel. Rachel, stop asking Lisa. <laughs> this is now turning into crowd control. Um, this is, there's a few different formats for this. There's a few reasons I'm thinking for doing this. But one of them is for a place to relax, a stress-free zone calm zone and there's yeah that that's it so my other let me boy to sleep uh, that I do I don't do them every day to be fair and I don't always do them live because I can't be bothered but I don't you know it depends I'm gonna be getting uh, hopefully a bit of a better setup with computer and stuff soon so I'll be able to do a little bit of editing this is the longest breakfast I've ever had do you want to tag Chris Gibbs into this video why is it asking me to do that So I've got this big thing just come up on the screen saying do I want to tag somebody into the video. Rachel says, sounds great, it will help break up the loneliness. Thank you Rachel. That's kind of another part. Um, which as you know, well I'm sure you know sort of that can uh, stress, uh, anxiety, the various sort of um, emotions, feelings that may arise due to that uh, is kind of what I'm here to reverse maybe or to do the opposite or to encourage different feelings. Carrie says, I can't see comments and it's not swipe left. 
Okay, I just, I just had this, you know when you're doing something and something just comes up, it's like a, a, a comment, I suppose, but it's, yeah. Do you like that? It's my favorite mug. Andre bought it for me. Trying to cover up my my chest area. So what was I going to say? So yeah, that's the idea of these things is to just to be relaxing. The thing is, Sebastian asked me, "Do you?" Yeah, but, uh, do I have to give everything a, a name? You know, the sessions, but the thing is, I do, in a sense, Alex is watching. Hi, Alex. Um, I was gonna say to Alex, uh, I was gonna send you a message, actually, letting you know what was uh, the latest with the whole interviewing thing, and uh, had a few problems with that with my laptop shutting down every five minutes. What was I saying? Oh, the reason I, I name things, I give things a title, is because I upload everything onto YouTube. So I don't just do a live stream on Facebook and then go for a jog. Brunch, uh, Lisa says, brunch with Jason's Brady Bunch. Could, yeah, I could, I could brunch though. I didn't realize you were so, uh, so uh, sophisticated. I'm trying to think of the word. Sophisticated, upper class, brunch. I've never had brunch in my life. I had late breakfasts. Or early dinners, early lunch, not brunch. I mean, brunch is, is it a late breakfast, isn't it, I suppose? Or an, uh, like a mixture between breakfast and lunch, brunch. Brunch with Jason, okay, well, Lisa, uh, Lisa Marie, that's a good one, yep. Yeah. I don't know, but I wanna have, I want, people to know what they're listening to or what they're watching before they watch or listen. Uh, because if you come along, it's someone, let's say someone, uh, let's say someone came along and they wanted to stop smoking and they play this, you know, on YouTube and they just listen to it and they watch it, they're gonna think, what on earth, I don't know. Because this isn't for stopping smoking, although if you listen to this every day, you might not want to smoke anymore. Who knows? Lisa says, you eating breakfast at lunchtime. You're eating breakfast at lunchtime. That's a long title though, isn't it? Rachel says, I fancy a corned beef toasty. This is going in a different direction to what I thought. I'd, you know what? I could probably go for a bit of toast with some marmalade on it. Because I spent so long eating that bowl of cornflakes that I didn't really fulfill uh, you know, my ambition of tackling the hunger that I had. I still feel a bit peckish. Sebastian says, Sebastian Kinikos 
says, I went to the bathroom. Is he still obsessed about the title? <laughs> oh dear. How funny. So have you really, and I'm still talking about the bathroom when you got back, and I am, aren't I? Jason's audience with Sebastian. I couldn't read. You have to, if it's a long paragraph, I don't get to read it all because it takes up too much space. Rachel says, I'm making you, I'm making you hungry. Yeah, I, well, that's nice, I suppose. At least I haven't put you off your dinner. I thought that might be a possibility. And I just realized just now, I might have a bit of cornflakes in my beard. I'm not aware of it. No. So this isn't just a video. This will be also as a podcast to listen to on SoundCloud, on iTunes, on Spreaker, um, possibly on Spotify if they upload it, uh, on iHeartRadio and various other podcasts. Oh God, if, I, I'm gonna have to delete you Lisa because it's really weird having someone that I've met watching. Hi Lisa's mum, hope you're feeling better. Um, after you fall yeah it's it is kind of strange sometimes I had I remember in the early days well not that long ago but I came on here and I was just doing a live stream and a friend of mine was watching and I just it just felt weird. Just this is someone that I'd known for a long time. It just seemed weird because they weren't saying anything. They were just there, watching. I could see that they were online. It's like, oh, maybe you wonder what they were up to. Uh, you're just getting old. What are you? What did you write there, Sebastian? I'm getting old. Well, yeah, we all are, aren't we? We're all, are. We're all aging. I mean, you're older now than you were before you wrote that long paragraph. Lisa, it's okay. I'm going to go clean. Have a beautiful day. Go. No, I'm not saying. You don't, I don't want you to go away. I'm just saying. I'll just, just. Oh. Lisa, but I'm going to miss you. Okay, have a, have a lovely day yourself. And I'm just going to hope, I don't know, this must uh, be, must be done by now. I, must, I think it should be about an hour in. The amount of time it took me to eat my breakfast. My tea's cold nearly. I don't know what the time scan, time scale is for boiling tea to get cold. Oh, Sebastian, you're going to go and join. You're going to join join Lisa in cleaning your own. Is it really messy where you are? See, I. I Mine's messy. Well, it's not mine's. I live in a quite a minimalistic place. Like I have very few items. I don't really own much. I've got a television, a chair, a table. Yeah, you know, I don't really have much in the way of possessions. Uh, so there's a fair, a fairly decent space to walk around and you know, I'm not bagging into anything. But then I've got this little furry poo machine that's running around, uh, basically moving things around. Uh, it's got this little snake, it's a pink snake. It's not a little actually, it's quite long. And he is so possessive about it. If I touch it, he tries to grab it out of my hand and he always, 
he won't play it. He's not. It's not a toy to him. It's like I think it's like his his child. And if I move it from where it is, and start like playing with him, he'll grab it, and then run away, and then put it back to where it is. And if I grab it again, he'll hide it. He'll hide his little snake, because he doesn't want me touching it. Sebastian says, remember new land, my flat just got built. It's, uh, what, why you were in it or before you moved in, I guess. Rachel says, uh, can ferrets be toilet trained? Well, Mm. Mm. Well, they t have a tendency, I think it's a case of just, let, well for me, it was letting Andre train me where he wanted to go. So they have, uh, generally they go against the wall, not against the wall, but they go so that they're, their back's against the wall and they're facing, so it's just like a natural thing, so they can, um, see around themselves when they're going, when they're doing it. So I've just got some paper down. It's really good in his cage. I mean, he's got a uh, cat litter down on his cage and he, you know, he climbs all the way down from the top because he's got a hammock. And he climbs down and he does his business and he gets back up. It's, uh, Sebastian says, it's plus in this case, the owner's not even potty trained. Sebastian, Sebastian, Sebastian. I am potty trained most of the time. But he's, uh, he's pretty good. He, you know, he, he's got his little areas that he goes and I just have to make sure that it's uh, you know, prepared for him. But it's just one of those things, you know, he's, he's not like a cat, a cat, although I've lived with cats that weren't particularly, uh, precious about where they went to the toilet and dogs as well. Dogs are usually pretty good, you know, but you know, I can only hold it in so much. But I think with ferrets is they don't get a lot of notice about when it's due, if that makes any sense. Uh, when they need to go, they need to go. You know, they can't just have a conversation and uh, think, well, where's the nearest toilet? They need to, they've got maybe five seconds to run to a spot and do it. So it's just so, yeah, they're kind of limited in that sense. So I can't blame them. Can't blame him for just having to go quickly because it's just his body. It's how his body is. He's only little. He's only, you think, the how big he is. His digestive system is going to be a lot shorter. And, you know, I think the food gets digested a lot quicker based on the amount of times that he makes that five second dash. Sebastian wants to know, do I even own a bedpan? Well, the reason I don't own a bedpan, Sebastian, is because I'm not living in the 1800s. Let me have a little check of my, you get to hear the sound of this website, uh, the sound of the, sound of my laptop as it starts up. Oh, someone has left me a message. It's 
So Rachel has left me a message, my nativity. Oh, cool. Um, let's have a look. I just want to see how long I've been on here. Oh, 50 minutes according to this. So if anyone's on uh, my Facebook page, I realize you're watching me, but if you want to go down, if you want to go down, uh, the picture below this video is me dressed as Liberace, which I don't know why it would be an obvious thing, but Sebastian put that together, that lovely, lovely bit, <laughs> which is funnier the more I look at it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, so going back to the name of this, I want it to have the word relaxing in because that's what this is about. This, these recordings, these broadcasts, these specific ones, the breakfast ones, are about relaxing. But I also want to have, I kind of want to have the word boring in the title because that way no one could put a comment saying this is really boring because then I thought, sort of, well, that's the point. But at the same time, putting boring in it, does that put people off? I don't know. What about Jason's or JJ's relaxation, relaxing breakfast? It could be, couldn't it? Jason's relaxing breakfast. Maybe I don't need to have the word boring in it. Because it, if it's relaxing, it's not gonna be full throttle, adrenaline filled action, packed mayhem, is it? It's, uh, it's a relaxing thing. It's just me chatting, talking to those that want to interact and say hi. And that's it, really. I'll have my breakfast. I'll have my cup of tea. I even did a burp earlier. Sebastian says, nah, nah, Jason, you can relax around the clock. See, if you write too many things, I can't read them. Because that the big paragraph's now gone. So all I've got now is evenings or late afternoons, so that I don't know what that was connected to. And then I've got or JJ's Mayhem Morning. No. This is a relaxing. That's what this is about. Andre's been letting off quite a bit of wind lately. Andre. See, it's really, that's a well timed, isn't it? He's, uh, so, so, uh, Sebastian says, Stop blaming me for my eyesight and focus. Well, I am looking at a very small iPhone, so I can't see what is, I can just about see what's being written, but I can't, um, you know, so that stop blaming me, blah, 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 blah. 
that you just wrote. I can see that because that's just the right kind of length sentence. But when it gets longer than that, you have to like press the screen to read more. So, you know, it's, uh, it's just lucky that I'm not popular, isn't it? Otherwise there'd be so many messages, I struggle to keep track. But then I'd need to get myself a larger um, screen, which I might hopefully do in any way. So, yeah. Sebastian says, and you better get used to staring at the phone for the next years. Let's the iPhone for the next years. I don't really want to stare at the iPhone, but um, I think Rachel, you've asked to be in a video, but I can't, um, I won't be able to hear you. Uh, so if, if, even if I, I can't have anyone in the video because I can't hear them because I've got this microphone attached to the thing and I wouldn't be able to hear anything that anyone says on the video. Sorry. So I've got, um, what's this? So it's really just uh, me chatting. But I do, I do try and respond to the messages that people leave. Um, and say hi and all that stuff. Oh, look what I got. I got a vape. Um, Got to press it five times for it to activate. So I'm going to have a little vape. So yeah, this is. Uh, I stopped smoking. I was. I started smoking last year after 17 years of not smoking and uh, I decided that's it I've got to stop because it's just a silly thing to do so the last time I stopped smoking I used hypnosis and to stop but I've you know I do hypnosis every day and especially when I'm in bed I do hypnosis, self-hypnosis. I uh, also do this thing where I lay back in my chair and I just let the world just kind of just wash over me. So it's kind of like a meditation but without any focus it's kind of the opposite to meditation. It's kind of the opposite to hypnosis because hypnosis is also, especially self-hypnosis is a very focused activity, I suppose. But I like the freeingness, the freedom of just laying there or you know, sitting back in the chair and doing nothing relaxing chit chat yeah what about the breakfast bit though Rachel should I add the breakfast bit because I'm, I'm thinking of doing this during the breakfast and Rachel says you're doing great great many you're doing great many thanks thank you I want I want what I do to be useful because Although it might seem like I'm, uh, ha that I'm just, I'm not. It might seem like I'm doing this for me, but I'm not. If that makes sense. 
if it was for me, I'd be watching television now. I'd eat my breakfast watching the news or watching television. So th this is more to, if I can use my time and have fun at the same time and help others uh, to relax. Because that's what I've come to realize that really what I do is relaxation. Uh, helping people to wind down, help, helping you to just, for your mind to just become a little bit less busy, you know, less active, and to allow the muscles in your body to just relax a bit. But I'm, I'm not causing that, I'm just, this is the safe space where you can just allow those things to happen naturally. And relaxing breakfast chit chat. I like that. Relaxing breakfast chit chat. Yeah, that's going to be the name, Rachel. You have created the title of this, not just this, but future breakfast so future relaxing breakfast chit chat so uh, this will be number one so i'll change the title in fact i'm going to write that down i'll just drop something on the floor and you know what that'll still be on the floor the next time i make a video because i can't be bothered to pick it up terrible isn't it you see my hair when I bit that up like that? It's weird that certain parts of my head, their hair grows a lot quicker. So what am I calling this? Relaxing breakfast chit chat. Sebastian says, if it was only JJ and me, I would slightly change that title. Yeah, perhaps uh, that's got to be a private message that you send me. So this, this vape, it's, what did I, sp it's costing me probably three pound a week. And it's been a week and, well nearly two weeks. This coming Wednesday, because it's Monday now, this coming Wednesday, it will be two weeks that I've been smoke free. Apart from uh, a few days ago when I burnt the sausages. And I quite, I think what it's done is it's taken the because stopping smoking can be a, a weird thing, a weird, weird thing. With all the different connections, you know, with smoking and stuff. But the thing is with me, I never used to really smoke when I was outside. So if I was uh, going into town or, do, you know, generally I didn't really smoke. So I was rolling my own. I was like, doing rolling tobacco. So I didn't have as many connections as I used to have. Uh, I probably got more connections with this vape than I did with the, of the tobacco.
uh, again Sebastian is writing a few messages uh, also the side effects of, uh, so that's the thing I, I don't I'm using the vape to stop smoking but I don't intend to continue with the vape it's not like a new thing I've not replaced it I have temporarily but I will be my aim is to reduce the nicotine level in the vaping every time I buy a new like liquid and reduce it down so in a few months time it'll be the nicotine level will be practically zero and it'll be pointless vaping anyway so that's kind of that's my plan uh, it's much easier well it's, I think logically because I know that I didn't smoke for 17 years I know that I can go 17 years without smoking you know factually that's a fact um, so it makes it a lot easier really psychologically also you think about it we've all gone even people that are smoking at 16 17 18 they'll have gone 17 years without smoking before they started so they can go you know it's we're, we're not born with cigarettes in our mouths well, that would that make the birth even more painful wouldn't it but yeah we just I think part of it was uh, sort of being around people that were smoking and because I hadn't I'd sort of purposely kept away from anybody that smoked cigarettes and uh, to be around someone a couple of people that were smoking I think I kind of got a little bit you sort of comfortable being around the smoke maybe I don't know but that's gone anyway that's all gone so I don't do that anymore so I'm going to call these relaxing breakfast chit chat number one this is number one and tomorrow will be number two so that's Tuesday although I need to keep an eye on the the news because I'm following the whole Brexit thing at the moment. So, uh, I've got to make sure I don't miss any of that. I don't know what time I'm going to get up tomorrow morning. It might be the afternoon. It might be the morning. Um, possibly could even be late afternoon but uh, it just really depends and can you hear I'm going to turn this off this is loud it's like wind that just suddenly stops And that's what it feels like when I close my eyes and I lay back in the chair. Everything just seems to stop. I feel relaxed. But for no reason, no, there's nothing, I haven't done anything. I've just, I guess, just allowed myself to just let go of everything. Let go of everything. And I realised the other day, I've been thinking ever since I was asked kind of what I do, how I do what I do, what, you know, what my technique is, what my, you know, what, what is my sort of intention, stuff like that. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm not even too quick uh, 
not cure, that's the wrong word, but not into like quick fixes. That doesn't interest me. It's about just gradually doing things. It's about, for me, it's not about putting pressure on you or putting pressure on yourself to make changes. It's just giving yourself space to allow yourself to make those changes naturally, to just allow those changes to occur naturally. For me, that's what everything that I do now is about. So, you know, it might just seem like I'm just eating my cornflakes, drinking my tea and maybe sucking on my vape, which I generally won't be doing, but I just thought I'd show it to you. There's that momentum that comes from it. And I'm not sure if I'm even explaining it particularly well, but it taps into something within all of us that kind of says, you know what? You're okay. You're actually doing quite well. Perhaps you could give yourself a bit more credit for your accomplishments and for how you know you've managed to get by and you're still going even now through adversity and issues, problems, difficulties in the past, but you're still here still able to look forward to the future, still able to relax. So that's what these um, relaxing breakfast chit chat is about. I remember Rachel, I think you're one of the first people to name any of my sessions. Um, It had to have, I suppose it had to have two words in. I w I'm happy to let the boring bit go because it's relaxing. It's not going to be, ex it's not supposed to be anything exciting, is it? And as Rachel says, just taking each day at a time. That's right, taking each day at a time. And you can notice that something happens. So changes happen and you may not even uh, really understand why you feel more relaxed in situations that perhaps in the past you found difficult. But now for some reason you look at it differently. It's, it's as if something inside your mind has changed and now uh, certain aspects of your life are easier to deal with and you feel more relaxed and at peace within yourself and that in itself is going to improve your health physically as well as mentally and emotionally So I'm going to go because the time is up. I aim to do about an hour when I do sessions. So, um, sometimes I do a little bit less, sometimes I do a bit more. But I will be back again tomorrow with another relaxing breakfast chit chat. Please join me. Uh, just keep keep an eye out for when I'm on. Um, in an ideal world, I would be on at the same time every day. But uh, my my sleeping habits don't really allow for that to happen at the moment. But I will be here.
here tomorrow morning or sort of midday-ish, possibly early afternoon, it depends. And I'll be eating my breakfast, having a cup of tea, having a chit chat with you. So thank you for everyone that's watched and joined in. And uh, so Rachel, Lisa, uh, Sebastiana, and uh, Percy, you know, a few different people around. Remember to like these videos and everything because if you like them, people might look and think, ooh, I don't know who that bloke is, but people seem to like what he's doing. Let's have a listen. And then we can all laugh at them because they've been fooled into listening. We've caught them in our little net of deceit and lies. <laughs> Only kidding. So I'll speak to you tomorrow. And that's it. And that is it. You can say goodbye until tomorrow. We will ba be back again tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. I should do a little catchy tune. Relax on breakfast chit chat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Relaxing breakfast chit chat. So I've called you Percy, so um, you're a true friend now. Do people actually call you Percy? So I'm going to call, if I remember rightly, I'm going to call you Percy when I speak to you. <laughs> so Rachel says bye. I'm going. I'll speak to you all. If, if you're online tomorrow, uh, I might do a let me bore you to sleep later today. I might do it live. I might just record it and upload it. I don't know. So I'm going to go. So the breakfast, Sebastian says, the breakfast was only the start of it. You're right. It's hard to make a bowl. Of, I mean, I made this bowl last for about a good half an hour. But, uh, so that's it. I'm now, I'm now a breakfast uh, streamer. And uh, Percy says, yes, they do. Bye. Okay. All right, then. Goodbye, everyone. Have a relaxing day. Remember, that's the whole point of these sessions is to get in touch with that part of your mind that relaxes you. And when you feel relaxed, you can feel happy. See you soon. Bye. I have to stretch over and try and turn this thing off. Oh, I can't reach. It's as if I've got a belly in the way, and obviously we all know it's just a six pack. <sighs> right, I'm gonna reach and I'm gonna do it properly now. So I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and to my website, and it's also gonna be available on uh, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes and all those places. See you later. Oh, it's available to download for free as a video and as an MP3. Well, it, it will be. See ya.